Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, welcome back to another edition of Star Citizen Offline. Today, I bring a somewhat exotic treat. <clears throat> I bring to thee the Vandal Scythe. Now, um, if you are not aware, the Vandal Scythe <coughs> excuse me, uh, is an alien ship. It comes with a couple of, I believe they're size 5 weapons on the uh, outer wings there. And I believe two size 2 weapons in the uh, cockpit area. Now, if you've seen my glaive video, then you will notice that <clears throat> these are, are quite similar ships. Uh, only real difference being that the scythe is asymmetrical which means that it is not symmetrical. Um, as you can see, obviously, with this large, bladed, uh, almost knife wing compared to just this, uh, the weapon on a mount, really. Uh, the Vandal Scythe, the original uh, Vandal Scythe, originally went for about three or $350, where the price has gone up significantly. Um, if you were to try to buy one of these, <clears throat> uh, if you were to try to buy one of these in the gray market, you would be spending upwards of like thirteen hundred dollars. Um, I actually just bought two uh, consolidated Outland Pioneer ships <laughs> um, for way more than I should have, but I am totally planning on selling one. Um, given that they are limited and they are going to play uh, such an interesting construction role, I figured it would be uh, intelligent to pick up a second one to try to recoup some of the costs that I just paid out. Uh, hopefully sooner than later. So, um, let's take the scythe out for a test drive. The Vandal Scythe um, is pretty minimalistic. Um, you know, you really only have about two screens in here. Whoa, the view's looking all screwed up. Alrighty. Uh, another kind of neat thing is how the uh, HUD goes and kind of uh, gets distorted, as like just like right there, as if uh, it's being hacked. Uh, I believe the lore behind having the scythe is that it's a captured scythe uh, in that it used to uh, belong to the Vanduul and they found a derelict carrier and sold off oh, <clears throat> and sold off the captured ships to uh, Asperia to uh, ba basically backwards engineer and create human models as well as to sell but to better study. Now, they say <clears throat> the scythe is good for ramming, but I would also say the scythe is good for shooting. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised how, how quickly that just took out the 350. Um, wow, for an alien ship, I'm actually a little impressed by that. Uh, especially when you take ships like the Car to All and compare that to something like the Scythe or the Glaive. Um, obviously, the Car to All is about 160 or 170 dollars, where the Scythe, uh, as you can, uh, or as I previously mentioned, goes for a lot more. In fact, to my understanding, they have not sold the Scythe since uh, I believe the original sale. Uh, I could be mistaken, I was not with Star Citizen uh, for either uh, introduction or sale of the ship, so to that I cannot comment uh, you know, with 100% accuracy. But given the dramatic spike in its price, I can only assume that is the case. Um, so speaking of Consolidated Outland, um, the Pioneer was released uh, Thursday, well, the VIP pre-sale, um, and by VIP I'm fairly certain 
it's for those with uh, concierge level. Uh, I could be mistaken. I actually came across it on Reddit. I am concierge level. Um, but the second that I saw it on Reddit, I didn't even look at my email or anything. I just jumped right on the site, bought one, then read some information on it because, you know, my dumbass decided to buy, then read, which is the same reason I have the uh, 600 eyes because I bought it and then read about it. And I'm like, hey, wait, this isn't what I want. But I'm just, I'm impulsive, I'm spontaneous, and have zero self control. Um, I realized that, and I can admit that. So, um, I was going somewhere with that point. Um, that's cool, I like that HUD, how it does that. So, this was the, uh, scythe. Um, it does have some missiles on it. Let's go and test those out. Actually, I want to go to... Where is 126? Or 20, yeah, 126. So let's fly on over to 126. Let's try uh, doing battle with the pirate that pops up there. And then, as a direct comparison, I'm gonna go back to Alasar and grab the glaive and see what how that fares. Um, I don't think I've done a comparison of the two. Gladius. Oh, that's a bit high. Run and you die. All right, missile away. Really? Big mistake. Oh uh, yeah, big mistake. What? Uh, your mistake was uh, trying to fight a fucking alien fighter. I wonder if I can ram him. Should I try to ram him? I'm gonna try to ram him. Ah. Now the thing about the scythe is this is actually a light fighter. So interestingly enough, going against the Gladius is actually accurate as they are both light fighters. There we go, that was a hit. Now I do believe the missiles on the scythe are um, size ones. I could be mistaken, but I'm fairly certain that they are size 1. Now, given that they're size 1, they are a little bit faster, but obviously don't hit very hard. And he's doing all in his power to not be slammed by me. I did not want to load up two missiles, but alright. It's funny, it killed the 350 way faster than the Gladius. But, like I said, oh, almost got him. Uh, the Gladius is a light fighter, where the 350 is a fast racer, so they're literally not even in the same, uh, in the same, uh, role. Ah, come on. That should have fired. There we go. That'll hit him. Double hit! Ah, oh, god, this Gladius is tough! For a Gladius, this Ninetales is like... Insane. It's got like some sort of armor. More than the, the base Gladius, that's for damn sure. If I was in my regular Gladius, that would have been chewed up. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. That took way longer than I had anticipated, but that was just a quick glimpse of uh, the scythe. Let's see if we can get it in the light and get a better view at it. There we go. That is the scythe. Oh, of course, now I'm off target. There we go. So, let's initiate Quantum. And off we go.
did I miss Alasar? Uh, I sure as shit did. Alright, second time's a charm. Alright, good old Ollie. So, uh, the, uh, like I said, the scythe is the light fighter variant, where the glaive is, I believe, the medium. It's either medium or heavy fighter. I want to say it's the medium. I think the heavy fighter is the blade, I want to say. Um... I feel like it would be the the blade, or perhaps maybe one of the other ships that have not um, officially been announced yet, but came out in that leak some time ago. All right, there we go. Nice and landed. Give another another quick look at it. I kind of dig how it's got that, um, almost looks like you're, you're riding a motorcycle the way you're in that, um, that low profile, uh, stance where you're more or less laying in the cockpit. And, uh, it's almost like you got a little futon. Like a little, uh, um, yeah, like a, like a, a futon with handlebars. <laughs> So, let's go call up the Glaive. Uh, Glaive, uh, once again, basically is uh, somewhat of a copy of the site, only it is symmetrical instead of being asymmetrical. There we go. Um, now, with the Glaive being symmetrical, it feels to me as though it has just a little bit more balance. Um, feels a little bit more stable and sturdy compared to the uh, scythe, who only has that one uh, blade-like wing, which is pretty interesting. Um, now, as you can see also from uh, aesthetics, it is very different. It has that interesting paint job on it where it's that red and yellow um, continuation of those large blade like wing structures uh, again has the two I believe they're size fives uh, correct me if I'm wrong if you know better because you might uh, again the two uh, size two pilot canopy connected weapons as you'll see they flop down when uh, getting in and then let's get on to our nice cozy cot. <laughs> that is such a cool HUD. And we are good to go. So as you can see, the interior cockpit is more or less identical to the scythe. So really, uh, getting a glaive over a scythe, um, or vice versa, you're not really missing if I had the choice between the two, um, I would actually go with the Glaive, as uh, it does have the two wings as opposed to one, so you're not as limited in terms of if you have to ram. Uh, I believe the Glaive and the Scythe are specifically built and designed to uh, another Glaive, uh, Gladius. They are built to take part in ramming maneuvers, which is, I was trying to figure out the way to word that, but it can actually take part in the ramming maneuvers. Oh, that hurt. And this also has missiles on it. So let's see how they compare. Oh. There is no comparison. This glaive, okay, wow, I am actually uh, a little bit impressed. So I wonder if that scythe does not have 
two size fives. Maybe it only has one. Because this one I know for a fact has two. And that made very short work. Um, comparatively. So, let's, let's go test that again. That was our control. Now let's do the real experiment. And see how we fare. Maybe I'll actually be able to launch a missile this time. We ain't got any problems with you right now, but stick around and this gonna change. Run and you die, fight and you die. Come here, you little prick. <laughs> Three volleys. Three volleys and he's taken down. I'm actually a little bit impressed. I don't remember the glaive performing this well, and that, that was the whole reason I melted it originally. Uh, I felt for its price, it was, um, uh, well, too pricey. Um, but, I'm actually kind of impressed with, uh, three direct volleys, and I mean, that, that, that took the uh, Gladius right down. Hopefully we'll come across something like a Cutlass. Because I'd really like to go up against something uh, like the Cutlass and see if I can disable it and then ram it. Because I think that would be cool. Alright, let's see if we can hit the 350R. Bloop! Come on. You pretend cops have always got something to prove, don't ya? Pretend cops in an alien ship? That makes sense. Dog, you attacked me first. Okay, I opened fire first, but you know what you were doing. Come on, don't try to play the victim here. Big mistake. Why aren't these missiles locking on? Like, I would have expected... Oh. I would have expected them to be locking on, especially given that the 350 has two engines. Should be putting out quite a lot of heat. Um, and how is it shooting directly behind it? That's what I want to know. If I can hit the damn thing. There we go. So, it seems like once uh, I'm actually able to hit the damn thing, it does a, a considerable amount of damage. I'm actually a little impressed. I'm trying to think if I have any other alien ships. Well, I mean, technically... Technically, the Freelancer counts as alien. Uh, in that it has uh, alien technology in it, uh, at least according to the MISC uh, page. MISC regularly incorporates alien technology into their products. So, keeping with the uh, alien aesthetic, let's go take the MISC Freelancer out. Um, you may remember from one of my uh, previous videos that the Freelancer, uh, I affectionately refer to as my war van. Rationale being that uh, I've strapped four size 3 Mantis Gatling weapons to the sides. And it this thing absolutely just rains down lead. Um, I mean, this thing just spits like a camel. Um, and it's, it's actually quite fun. One of the things I really like to do is, um, I will sometimes take the Freelancer into Pirate Swarm just to, uh, you know, have a menagerie of targets. Only problem being the Freelancer is somewhat of a very large target. Um, it's long... <clears throat> it's thick, uh, giggity, 
Um, it, <laughs> it can also, uh, you know, it, it can put forth a lot of hurt. Uh, it's definitely, in my opinion, one of the better valued ships, especially if you outfit it correctly. Um, if you're able to kind of line your shots up a little better than I can, at least, um, or if, even if you're on par with me, even if you're a little worse than me, having the sheer number um, of ammunitions compared to um, other ballistic weapons, um, it's great, you know? Um, the tarantulas, I think, are decent, which is the weapon that the freelancer comes stock with. Uh, it comes with four size 3 tarantulas. Um, they're not terrible. They're not bad at all. Um, they shoot a little, uh, way too slow for my liking. But, um, they do pack uh, a decent punch to them. Let's see, which comma rays are still available? 1, 2, 6. So let's go there first. Hopefully we'll run into something, uh, larger than an Aurora or a 350R. I would actually take even going uh, against a 350R versus a Gladius. Actually, no, you know what? I kind of don't even care. Just, let's just get a target and let's fill it full of holes. Pump it full of lead. Uh, 350. Yeah, that's cute. That's funny. You, you'll say, uh, if I know what's good for me, I will stay out of this, yet you're the one starting shit. Ah! Stop! Stop spinning! See, now, like I said, I have never claimed to be a crack shot. I am not a good, uh, shot. What can I say? Uh... Look at that, I'm just- I'm off just so little. Boom, shakalaka. And you see, that's what I mean. Uh, with just, is it still shooting at me? Just with, uh... The sheer, uh, number of rounds that you- I- I am still seeing shots being fired off. At least I thought I did. Am I crazy? I thought maybe I was being attacked by uh, by someone else or something, but I suppose not. Um, so yeah, the uh, Misk uh, company, according to their bio, uh, incorporates alien tech into their products. Um, I'm not fully aware or sure exactly what they incorporate and how it's incorporated. I'd have to guess maybe it would be in their uh, anti-grav tech or perhaps their engine tech because the engines, well, no, I mean, those, those look like they could be human produced. In fact, I mean, I'm fairly certain that they are, are human induced, uh, produced, induced. I'm fairly certain they are human produced. Um, but, again, from my understanding, it's alien tech that is incorporated, but, uh, oh, who knows. Could be the shielding, you know, could be the avionics. Unfortunately, I'm not 100% sure. If you can hear my dog in the background, apologies. He's a he's a little Jack Russell, and he thinks he's a much larger dog. So basically, any uh, any person or thing drives by the house, he starts barking like crazy, like a mad dog, pun intended. And uh, but he's absolutely adorable. Yeah, see, he's a he's such a a tough dog. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you can't hear him, because he is being kind of loud, and I probably sound crazy if you can't. That time you probably heard him. Um, so yeah, basically this has been, uh, just a, I hope, a quick video, uh, 
kind of showing off a little bit of the alien slash alien uh, related ships. Um, before I end the video, I'm going to take another quick run. I'm going to take another quick run through my list of ships, and if I don't have anything else that I think would be uh, worth showing, at least in this video, then I will call it a day. Oh. Yeah, no, I think that's about it. So I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, this was the uh, slight introduction and a slight um, show of the alien ships. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try to cut the videos down from being as long as they have been uh, recently because I know, you know not everybody has 30, 45 minutes to sit down and listen. I know... Uh, I know I usually don't have that much time to listen to one, so I want to try to afford you that same courtesy. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see something similar, if you want to see something different, if you want to see me showing off different aspects. Uh, let me know what those are. I'm more than happy to go through them with you. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much for all the support that I've had. Uh, I know this is still a small channel, um, but I absolutely love this community. Uh, Star Citizen, without a shadow of a doubt, has the best members. Um, and I mean, I say that with no hesitation and wholeheartedly. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. This has been Will. All you beautiful bastards have a wonderful day out there. And last but not least, peace.